सो हाई एवरी वन एंड अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक टू अनादर सेशन ऑफ पी आई वी टू फोर सेवन इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द पी आई वी न्यूज फ्रॉम सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन ऑफ नवंबर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन विदाउट एनी डिले बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव द पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस सेशन यू कैन ज्वाइन द टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन और राइट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच से रिसेंटली द नेशनल कमीशन फॉर वुमेन हेडेड बाय रेखा शर्मा Rekha Sharma is the NCW chairperson. Launched the fourth phase of Digital Shakti in collaboration with Cyber Peace Foundation and Meta. It is a Pan India project on digitally empowering and skilling women and girls in the cyber space. So when was its first phase launched? So this is the fourth edition which has been launched now. Uh, the question is about the phase one. Phase one was launched when? That is the question. So let's talk about the fourth edition of Digital Shakti first. so very important do remember it that it has been launched by national commission for women now what is the objective why this digital shakti so it is for creating space uh, safe online spaces for women and girls theek hai mahilaon ke liye aur ladkiyon ke liye safe online space create karna that is the objective behind digital shakti now talking about the fourth edition so remember it is a pan india project theek hai koi state specific ya fir district specific nahi hai it is a pan india project on digitally empowering and skilling women and girls in the cyber space it will focus on making women digitally skilled and make them aware to stand up against any cyber crimes right and of course ye question mein hi already mentioned tha that it has been launched by ncw in collaboration with cyber peace foundation and meta right do remember the name of organization cyber peace foundation and meta now talking about digital shakti so remember it was launched in the year 2018 with this similar objective to create awareness among women and girls about the cyber security and to create safe online spaces for women and girls right so that was the objective with which it was launched in the year 2018 and till now over 3 lakh women and girls have been benefited through this program all right and the third phase was launched recently last year in the month of march 2021 all right so that is all about digital shakti and therefore the correct answer will be option c because the launch year of phase 1 has been asked in the question all right 2018 is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 2 international financial services centers authority ifsca which you all know this center is headquartered in gift city gift city which is of course where is in gujarat right So IFSCA is a unified statutory regulator for development and regulation of financial products financial services and financial institutions in IFSC in India so when was the authority established remember it is a statutory body which was established with IFSC act IFSC act of 2019 the act year is 2019 but remember it was established in the year 2020 right but the question is why we are talking about this organization because an mou has been signed between rbi reserve bank of india and ifsca right the objective of this mou is to collaborate in the field of regulation and supervision of regulated entities in their respective jurisdiction matlab ifsca jahan pe jin bodies ko regulate karta hai aur rbi jin bodies ko regulate karta hai to jo jo regulation ke tareeke hote hain uske exchange of information ke liye this mou has been signed all right the mou will facilitate technical cooperation and exchange or of information between the two organizations all right that is the uh, major objective of this mou now talking about ifsca so remember it is a unified statutory regulator for development and regulation of all the financial services financial institutions financial products which are there at ifsc which is international financial service center all right it was established in 2020 under ifsca act of 2019 and of course it is headquartered in gift city in gandhinagar gujarat right and who is the current chairperson it's mr injeti srinivas injeti srinivas is the chairperson of ifsca all right so that is all and therefore the correct answer will be what uh one second yeah the correct answer will be option c 2020 because it was established in 2020 through ifsca act of 2019 all right 
मूविंग एड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री विच स्टेट फॉर दी फर्स्ट टाइम होस्टेड द टेंथ एडिशन ऑफ इंटरनेशनल टूरिज्म मार्ट फॉर दी नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न रीजन ऑर्गेनाइज बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टूरिज्म so the state must be from the north eastern region and all the options are from the north eastern region so let's talk about the news first of all what is the news international tourism mart right international tourism mart for north eastern region took place for the very first time in mizoram right in mizoram mizoram has hosted it for the first time overall it was the 10th edition but mizoram has hosted it for the very first time all right now the objective of this uh, mart was to highlight the tourism potential of the north eastern region it is very clear from the name of this event to highlight the tourism potential of the north eastern region and domestic and international market it was for the first time that mizoram has organized it and this year this event was focused on priorities of g20 for tourism track right this is obviously because from 1st of december 2022 we are going to take the presidency of g20 for one year all right so which state is this it is mizoram option d is the correct answer because that is the question moving ahead to question number 4 where will the first ever expo of indian medtech industry india medtech expo with the theme future of device diagnostic and digital be organized kahan pe organize kiya jayega and it will be the very first and that is why it is in news and it will take place in the month of january 2023 earlier it was uh, scheduled uh, to take place in the month of december now it has been rescheduled for january 2023 right ek mahina aage badhaya hai so remember it will take place in new delhi and as i told you in january 2023 the objective of this expo will be uh, to create opportunities in the pharma sector to network and explore collaboration for the medtech sector right basically medtech sector ko एक्सपैंड uh, करने के लिए क्या क्या किया जा सकता है ऑल दीज थिंग्स विल बी डिस्कस ड्यूरिंग दिस एक्सपो द थीम विल बी फ्यूचर ऑफ डिवाइस डायग्नोस्टिक एंड डिजिटल एंड इट विल बी ऑर्गेनाइज बाय डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल विच वर्क्स अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ केमिकल एंड फर्टिलाइजर इन कोलेबोरेशन विद मेडिकल डिवाइस इंडस्ट्री एसोसिएशन राइट एंड इट विल बी कोऑर्डिनेटेड बाय फिक्की विच इज फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडियन चेंबर ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री और इतना काफी है इससे ज्यादा इसमें पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है जब ये हो जाएगा एक्सपो अगर इसके अंदर कुछ अच्छा निकल के आता है देन वी विल डिस्कस दैट ऑल राइट सो देर फॉर द करेक्ट आंसर इज न्यू डेली ऑप्शन ए बिकॉज इट विल टेक प्लेस इन न्यू डेली क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन नेशनल इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फंड एन आई आई एफ वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन एज इंडिया फर्स्ट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर स्पेसिफिक इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड और अवरन वेल्थ फंड इट मैनेजेस थ्री फंड विच आर मास्टर फंड fund of funds and strategic fund its highest decision making body is governing council which meets once a year and provides suggestion for its overall strategic decisions who is the chairperson of governing council of nif it should be chairperson not chairman chairperson is the right word i believe to aapko bas chairperson batana hai governing council ka and every inf every information regarding nif has been uh, given here in the question theek hai तो अगर क्वेश्चन को भी ध्यान से पढ़ोगे तो बहुत सारी इंफॉर्मेशन आपको मिल जाएगी ओके सो आगे चलते हैं इसकी बात करते हैं इट इज़ द न्यूज़ बिकॉज़ रिसेंटली द मीटिंग ऑफ गवर्निंग काउंसिल टुक प्लेस एंड इट वाज चेयर्ड बाय द यूनियन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर अभी जो कि निर्मला सीतारमन है सो रिमेंबर द गवर्निंग काउंसिल ऑफ एन इज चेयर बाय द यूनियन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर यूनियन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर और आई नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस मीटिंग सो ड्यूरिंग दिस मीटिंग right one important thing happened and that is india japan fund was endorsed right india japan fund was endorsed was launched you can say and it is the very first bilateral fund under niif right and this fund isme jo contribution aayega is fund mein that will be through an mou which has been signed between national investment and infrastructure fund and japan bank for international development right in dono ke beech mein in dono organization ke beech mein mou hua hai तो दोनों इसके अंदर कंट्रीब्यूट करेंगे एंड एंड दैट फंड विल बी यूज फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट इन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन बोथ द कंट्रीज जापान एंड इंडिया बोथ और राइट नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस फंड सो रिमेंबर द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑब्जेक्टिव इज वेरी क्लियर द गवर्नमेंट इंटेंड्स टू इन्वेस्ट इन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर थ्रू दिस फंड राइट व्हाट इज द नेम नेशनल इन्वेस्टमेंट इन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फंड सो इट इज क्लियर 
It is India's first infrastructure specific fund. It was established in the year 2015 and it manages three funds which are strategic fund, fund of funds and master funds and governing council GC governing council is the highest decision making body of this fund which is chaired by union finance minister. All right. I hope this is clear and therefore the correct answer is union finance minister which is not in the option. Yes, it is there option B finance minister. Moving ahead to question number six, which PSU has won the gold award in the 47th International Convention on Quality Control Circle 2022, which took place in Jakarta in Indonesia under the theme built back better through quality efforts. So you just have to name this PSU which has won this award and this is NTPC option D is the correct answer. Moving ahead. National Conclave on Technical Textiles, ProTech. It was recently organized by Ministry of Textiles, headed by Piyush Goyal, in partnership with Northern India Textile Research Association, which in short is NITRA, and Indian Te Technical Textile Association, where it, it took place. So, very easy question. Where this conclave took place? So, it took place in New Delhi. Option D, the capital, is the correct answer. Question number 8, which country has hosted the first World Media Congress with the theme Shaping the Future of the Media Industry? Now, this country is United Arab Emirates. Option E is the correct answer. This was the first World Media Congress with the theme Shaping the Future of the Media Industry. Alright, and the last question for today, which country hosted the World LPG Week 2022 under the theme Humanizing Energy? So, you just again, you have to name the country. It took place in India. Again, India is the correct answer. And where in India? It took place in Expo Mart. Expo Mart of Greater Noida. And for those who don't know where Greater Noida is, it is in Gautam Buddh Nagar district of Uttar Pradesh. Gautam Buddh Nagar district of Uttar Pradesh. However, it is not important. Just remember it took place in Uttar Pradesh in Greater Noida. All right, option C is the correct answer. Okay, that's it for uh, today's session. I hope all the questions are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next session on Wednesday. Goodbye, take care and God bless.